Hi, are you wanting to learn more about how you can manage waste and how every individual person can make a massive difference? Well, stay tuned because on this video, I introduce Tanya Lewis of Eco Organizer and she tells you all about how to protect the world and manage your waste. with McNeil Real Estate. My name is Janet and today I'm absolutely delighted to be uh, joining Tanya Lewis uh, from Eco Organizer who uh, is joining us on the couch today. Uh, Tanya is an international motivational speaker, a waste coach, an author and interior designer mm -hmm. um, who specializes in educating the world on ethically managing our waste to protect our world. So welcome, Tanya. Thank you very much for having me, Janet. <laughs> it's an absolute pleasure, and we can't wait to learn more about you and what you do. Um, so yeah, firstly, tell us a bit about yourself and your background. Ah, well, I um, have been an eco-organiser for 10 years now. Mm -hmm. And uh, prior to that, I actually worked in the packaging industry. So I have a very good understanding of how products are made yes. and how we can recycle them, mm -hmm. but also why we can't recycle things. Right. So I combined my passion for organising time and space yes. with educating people on how to reduce waste. Yes. Okay, so when you're talking waste, we're talking about rubbish, not our waste. No <laughs> waste lines. No. I like that. No, <laughs> no, it's not our waste lines. Yep. It, it's about the waste that we produce. And so yes. many of us produce waste that we don't realise we can actually do something with. Mm -hmm. And then it can be put back into the recycling stream and made yes. into something else, yes. which is now what we refer to as closing the loop. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's interesting. <laughs> So um, you are a local to the Mornington Peninsula and I know yeah. you've been here for a long time mm -hmm. and uh, you live in a part of the Mornington Peninsula that I absolutely love. <laughs> um, but what do you love most about the Mornington Peninsula? Um, look, I love, um, I mean, I, I'm up in the hinterland, which yes. is wonderful. So it's lovely and quiet yes. and I just love the trees around me and I love the space and the, and the bird life. Mm -hmm. And um, although I do a lot of travel, it will not so much in the last 12 uh, no. months, <laughs> but it's just so good to come home. Yes. It's so yes. good to come home. It's always, I used to work in the city many years ago and I always found that when I got to Frankston and then you get on the road from Frankston down, all of a sudden the air's cleaner. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah, it really is. I just love the fact yep. that I can switch off. Yes. Yep, that's <laughs> beautiful. Now, you were talking to me earlier about um, promoting the uh, Earth Overshoot Day. Yeah, look, this is something that a lot of people aren't aware of, and it's something that I think we should be talking about more and being aware of what our our own carbon footprint is. Mm -hmm. Earth Overshoot Day is the date that marks the date when humanity's demands for the ecological resources of the planet mm -hmm. are exhausted. Right. In other words, we've used up all the natural resources that the yes. planet can produce in one year. Right. We start to eat into overtime. Yes. So in <clears throat> 2019, it was July, it fell in July. In 2020, it was actually pushed back slightly to August of 2020 yes. because we weren't flying around the world as much. Uh, it made a big difference. It made a slight difference. Yes. So this is when we something that we really need to yes. be looking at is Earth Overshoot Day. And having that um, <clears throat> sort of stop with, with COVID and, and the world, you know, a lot of people basically stopping doing a lot of things. That's probably given us an idea that it is actually possible to make a difference. Absolutely. Yep. Even though we have COVID, yes. we still have climate change ticking along behind there. Yes. So yep. we still have that massive issue to deal with. Mm -hmm. And and what I'm educating is about that it's just through very simple lifestyle changes we can make the mm -hmm. world a difference. Yes. We don't have to be a multi multi yes. uh, corporation we, we you know we can't all go out and put solar panels on our own home because we may be renting or it just may yes. be cost prohibitive we can't all go and buy a tesla car yes but if we can catch the bus or, or walk yes. 
more often and leaving the car at home. Mm -hmm. If we can reduce our meat consumption, we can start to reduce our carbon footprint. Mm -hmm. But also too, when we stop buying things that we, we don't, don't need, need. Yes. that can make a huge difference. Yes. Yes. So yep. yes. the, the eco-organising, the ethical decluttering is where it comes into it. We can actually yes. start to see in our homes what we need and want. Yes. And not and buy different. things that we forget we have, so we go yes. and buy more. Yes, that's right, exactly. And we think we, we need something, you know, another electronic gadget. Well, the one that you just had, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not broken. It's just Correct. it's just out of um, out of date, I suppose. Or out of favour. Out of yes, out of fashion. Yes, <laughs> yes, that's true. Um, so why is managing waste so important to you, Tanya? I see uh, waste as a resource. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so much we can do with our waste. Yep. So, for instance, we are now uh, building road base out of ink cartridges. Okay. Okay. Yes. Why throw things away? Yes. Why not give them another life, yes. extend the life, repair them mm -hmm. instead of throwing to landfill? Mm -hmm. We know that the average Australian family wastes eleven thousand dollars a year on waste, basically buying things that they don't need, use and want, which is yes. around about six thousand six hundred dollars. We also know that the average Australian family throws out around about three thousand eight hundred dollars worth of food a year, edible mm -hmm. food. Yes. And then we also know that the average Australian spends $960 on Christmas gifts. Yes. But $620 worth of that are considered unwanted. Yes. So here we are going out and working very hard to earn mm -hmm. money to buy things for people that they don't they need don't, or yes, want. Yes, or want. Yes. <laughs> so many times at Christmas that happens and you're, you're right. You see people putting it on a marketplace. Correct. You know, in January, getting rid of presents that they didn't want. So, or yeah. they're putting them in the back of the cupboards. Mm. And our homes don't come with elastic sidewalls. No. <laughs> That's when true. they're stuffed, they become uncomfortable. Yes. They don't function and flow. Yes. And I'm sure you have to deal yes. with many clients that want to yes. sell their properties, but yes. they don't know where to start. They don't know Correct. how to declutter and create a, hmm. a saleable product. That's true, yes. Yep. One of the biggest issues um, we do find when, um, especially from a buyer's perspective, and they go through a house, if it is absolutely full of clutter, they just can't imagine themselves being there. Correct. And it's just too overwhelming and they walk away. Correct. And it might have been the best home for them, but they just can't handle it. Yeah. Mm. And building yeah. bigger and bigger homes to accommodate yes. stuff doesn't make financial sense. or environmental sense. Correct. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's fantastic. Now, do you think that everyone can have a positive impact on protecting the earth? Oh, absolutely. Like I said, it's if we can reduce the, the uh, buying stuff that we don't need, use or want, that's mm -hmm. a big start towards mm -hmm. it. So it's not about do, doing making massive changes. It's yeah. not about that. It's also being aware about what is available to you locally. Yes. And also working with local businesses yes. um, and can make a big difference. Yep. Okay. That's yeah. fantastic. So um, what other sort of services do you provide? I mean, I know obviously you're an international speaker. Um, what else... Um, does Tanya Lewis do? Okay, so yes, the, the, the main uh, focus is education, is, is yes. educating um, community. So I do a lot of uh, workshops through councils and things like that. Yep. But I'm also starting to work with corporations and things. So banks are starting to employ yep. me to come in and help their staff mm -hmm. become more organised, mm -hmm. but to do so in an environmentally friendly way. Yep. Because if you're organised at home, yes. when you get to the office, there's less stress. So we, yes. we're seeing increases in productivity. Yes. So any small business or anything like that, mm -hmm. maybe they could be thinking about how can they help their staff become yes. more organised. Yes. And okay. the flow-on effect is through to the business. Yes. So I can I work with small business to help okay. them get organised and also look at look at what their waste strategies are at the moment mm -hmm. and maybe sort of work with them to maybe. Uh, massage it and make it uh, more effective for them. Okay, that's fantastic. Yeah. So that kind of leads me into the next question. Um, we were talking earlier about, um, you know, sort of an offer if anyone was watching this video mm. and uh, they'd like to learn more, but um, also if uh, if they are a small business and yes. they mentioned this um, video that they've seen it, what are you offering at the moment? Well, I'm actually running some case studies at the moment, so okay. I'm, I'm looking for some guinea pigs. <laughs> So it's a completely free offer where yes. I would come in and help you work through your why you want to reduce waste. Because okay. once we know why we want to do it, we've then got the motivation. Yes. You know, and for some people it's they want to save time, yep. money, energy, 
or they're looking for, to, to do it for environmental reasons. Mm -hmm. We can cover all four mm -hmm. in this. True, so. Yeah. Yep. so we know we want to work out their why. Yes. We then have a look at what they're currently doing. Mm -hmm. So we look, listen and learn from you. Yes. Yep. And then we get our hands dirty and we start yes. to do a waste audit. So we okay. see you know, how you are, how you work, yep. how, yeah, how what you you're doing right yes. now. Yep. And then we'll work with you to, again, massage it Wait. to try and tweak it and get it mm. working better. And then we look at the outcomes. Great. So okay. I'm, I'm really interested in that data at the end, yes. looking at behavioural change and that type of thing. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. So if you're watching this video and you're a small business and you'd like to actually make an impact and improve how you um, and your business handle waste, give Tanya a call. So... That leads me to, how do people find you? <laughs> well, please, um, have a look at my website, ecoorganiser.com.au. Obviously, there's the contact page there, but also there's lots of information there that you can, you know, read some blogs or something like that. But I also have a very useful page that anybody can go and have a look at, and it's called Useful Links. Okay. It has over 100 links yes. to different charities, organisations, um, uh, local government, uh, charities we can divert unwanted stuff right so we've, we're we're okay. currently now diverted about 44,000 kilos of unwanted stuff to to away from landfill so we work with right. if somebody has a shoe fetish we've yes. got we've got a place where you can recycle your shoes okay fantastic. okay where we can recycle our x-rays toothpaste yes. tubes right. all sorts of things even cars wow. we can donate cars which help build accommodation for street kids. Oh, okay. Okay. Fantastic. So that's a very useful link. Have a look at the yes. useful links page right. on my website. <laughs> uh, give me a call and I'd love to come out and help people or yep. if they wish to engage me for my speaking services, you can get in contact with me anytime. Okay, that's fantastic. So to finalise, what do you do, Tanya, when you're not working? Ah, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm a passionate gardener. Okay, thank you. I love growing my own um, fruit and vegetables, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm passionate that about that. Uh, when I can, uh, I, I love to go and do cross country skiing. Oh, do you? Yep, love that. Um, so we're we're in the hands of you know Mother Nature yeah. with that, of course. Yes. So they're the sorts of things that I love to do. Yep, that's fantastic. Well, it's been great learning more about you, Tanya, and your thank business. You. Thank you. And it's been a real pleasure. So that concludes another episode of On the Couch with McNeil Real Estate. So thank you for watching and um, please subscribe.